Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Samsung Galaxy S4 video. Now we all know that Android smartphones these days can be plugged into many things via the micro USB ports. It can be plugged into a plug of course to be charged, it can be plugged into a computer to transfer files, it can even be plugged into a television if you have the right cable. But what can you actually plug into the Samsung Galaxy S4 and use it on the phone? Well, we're going to find out today using one of these. This is a OTG cable or a on-the-go cable and what it has basically is a micro USB port on one side to plug into the phone and then a standard USB port on the other side which means that you can plug things into the phone. So let's investigate what we can plug into the phone. Our first test is going to be with a standard USB stick. So let's unlock the phone and plug something in. Now when we plug in the USB OTG cable you will notice in the top that it detects that a USB connector has been connected. Nothing else has been connected yet so let's plug in this USB stick and see what happens. As you can see without any prompting from myself the phone has detected a memory device has been plugged into it, automatically loaded up a file browsing application so I can now browse the files. Um, we have a choice of the phone itself, the USB storage or of course the micro SD card storage which is a part of the phone itself. So if we go in the USB stick drive you will see that I put a couple of pictures from the uh, memory stick uh, and you can see them listed here and if I tap on one it will quickly ask me what application to use to open up the um, picture and now I can look at one of the pictures and this is coming from the USB stick. Similarly we could actually play a video and if I just start this running, this is of course one of my own videos and this has been streamed directly from the USB device. It took no time to load up and there's no uh, syncing issues, everything runs perfectly. So a good demonstration there of how you can quickly use uh, USB sticks and other memory devices and plug them into the phone. And the final question you may be asking is can you copy things from the memory device onto the phone? Well yes that's absolutely uh, possible and simple actually. Let's uh, tick a couple of these pictures and then in the top right hand corner we can select the copy option that goes back to my uh, different storage devices we can go into the phone itself go to the DCIM folder camera and then paste those pictures directly in there so we've now copied a few pictures from the memory device and put it on the phone now like any uh, connection with a USB it's always a little bit sensitive so you want to make sure that when you disconnect something from the phone you swipe down from the top of the screen and you press the button here which says mass storage connected and that will just ensure that the device is properly disconnected before you actually take out the stick or whatever it is. Let's move on to the next test. Okay the next test is to plug in a USB keyboard into the phone the question you may ask is what's the point in doing that? Well if you were streaming uh, content from your phone onto a television you may want a keyboard at hand uh, to browse on things. So let's plug the keyboard in and see how it copes. So it's asking me now that the uh, input method may have possibly changed. Um, to use a keyboard dock change input method to Samsung QWERTY. I don't think you need to do that because if I just press OK and then go into an application such as Google Drive so we'll get to a, a document here and although the keyboards come up here if I start typing on the keyboard like this let's see if I can just get my hands out of the way you can see now that with me typing on the keyboard it's actually detecting the input. So uh, this is working. So another good example of using a USB device with the phone. 
Moving on to something with a bit more power now, we have a USB 3 hard drive. Obviously hard drives need quite a bit of power uh, in order for them to run. Uh, so let's plug it in and see if a Galaxy S4 can cope with a hard drive. So in this particular test, it is saying that the USB storage is blank or unsupported. So unfortunately, in this particular example, it looks as if the phone is unable to power the hard drive. Okay, on to a peripheral such as a mouse. Let's plug that in and see what happens. It says here that there's a mouse connected. You can see there's power coming from the mouse, which looks promising. And then if I zoom right into the phone, you can probably see here the mouse moving around the screen. I can click on a um, application to load it. I'm now using mouse wheel to scroll up and down, so that's supported. I've just used a back button on the mouse as well. Uh, so it's looking very positive in terms of being able to use a mouse. Again, using the mouse wheel scrolls me down different screens. So uh, an excellent opportunity here for you to plug in a mouse again the question may be that you're plugging the uh, phone into a television and, con and streaming content and you may want to use a mouse to maybe uh, navigate a browser uh, more efficiently now in this test I've attempted to do some multitasking I have plugged my uh, on-the-go cable into a four-way USB hub and then plugged a mouse a keyboard and the USB stick in to demonstrate here, uh, as you can see, I'm using the keyboard to navigate on the um, apps page. And if I press there and go to all files and then the USB drive, you can see that I'm actually now browsing the USB drive using the keyboard. However, the mouse doesn't seem to be working. There's no power, uh, so the mouse is not working. Now, this could be for two reasons. It could be that the Galaxy S4 is not capable of dealing with more than two USB devices. Or, and more, probably more likely, is that this USB hub is a very cheap one. It uh, costs next to nothing. So it could be that this is not working properly uh, with the phone. So I'm fairly confident, although you may have to try it yourself, that you can probably put in quite a number of Uf USB devices into the phone. So this is now almost looking like a PC. And for the final test, why should it be all work and no play when we can use video game controllers. This is a standard wired Xbox video game controller and if I plug it into the Galaxy S4 what you will see is that first of all the light on the Xbox button starts uh, flashing so that indicates that it is being powered and then if you can just see on the uh, home screen as I'm moving the joystick you can see that the applications are being cycled through and then I can press on one of the applications uh, which is the X button and it loads up the application itself and the back button appears to be the B button now it actually gets even better than this because some video games on the uh, marketplace actually support the use of video game controllers now this particular game is called Dead Trigger which is a zombie game and if I just load up one of the levels you will see that without having to do any configuration I can move around the screen using the game controller so effectively now we have a video games console now I'm not going to be very good at this because I'm trying to look at the camera and play the game at the same time but we can see a zombie there so let's just take him out and that's fine so you can use this for any games that support it on the Google Play Marketplace and if you're into emulators such as using the SNES, N64, PlayStation, whatever is available then you can also use it to play, um, you can also use it an Xbox controller to play those games as well. So that's not bad for a smartphone. Just to clarify what this cable is then, it's a USB on the go or OTG cable. They're not readily available on the high street. You're not likely to go into a supermarket and be able to buy one, but you can get them very easily off the internet through Amazon 
or uh, any other electrical retailer and they are very cheap as well this one costs about £1.50 which is $2 so don't worry about how, the cost of getting one of these it's just sourcing one and you may have to get one delivered through the internet so with a single cable that costs a very small amount of money we can turn the Galaxy S4 into pretty much a PC using all these different USB devices and I've only just scratched the surface there by all means experiment with all the USB devices you can find and see what works sometimes you can be lucky sometimes you're not obviously with the hard disk experience it didn't quite work for me but it could work for you depending on what device you use thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon in another Samsung Galaxy S4 video